In the previous video, we had finished discussing the uh, Raoult's Law. In this one, we're going to be talking about Raoult's Law as a special case of Henry's Law. So let's start. First of all, we have a solution containing a volatile component. Okay, so the for the volatile component, according to Raoult's Law, we're assuming the volatile components A. So PA will be equal to PA naught XA. So PA is the partial or we can just say vapor pressure okay xa is the mole fraction and pa naught is the vapor pressure of the pure component. So, according to Raoult's law, PA equals to PA0, XA, where PA is the vapor pressure, XA is the mole fraction, and PA0 is the vapor pressure of the pure component. Let's assume we have a gas and in a liquid. So, a gas in liquid solution. So here our volatile substance is going to be the gas and the solubility or the vapor pressure rather of the gas is going to be related or the pressure of the gas is going to be related to the Henry's law. So this is going to be Raoult's law. This is going to be Henry's law. So according to this, since P is the pressure, P will be equal to KH into X. Now, P is the pressure of gas above the solution. KH is the Henry's constant. And X is equal to the mole fraction. Of the gas. So here if you notice pressure in both cases is varying is or almost in proportion to the mole fraction right. So the constants are the only ones which are different where PA is the vapor pressure of the pure component and KH is the Henry's constant. So when you compare the Raoult's law and Henry's law, the only difference between these two laws is the fact that here we are using PA naught, the vapor pressure of the pure component, as the proportionality constant for Raoult's law and the Henry's constant for Henry's law. Now, basically this implies that Raoult's law is a very uh, is a special case of Henry's law. So when you have Let's assume you have a liquid solution um, and sometimes one of the components can be following the Henry's law and not the Raoult's law over a various set of mole fractions. So in case where it follows the uh, Henry's law in a various set of like mole fractions, in that case KH, the value of KH will be equal to the value of the vapor pressure of the pure component of that particular substance. So solutions according to basically what happens is if you think about it the gas in a liquid right so if let's say we have a gas and a liquid which is slightly volatile then the gas which is the solute will follow the Henry's law and the liquid which is a solvent will follow the Raoult law. So when you have a solution which which starts to get more and more dilute, then it tends to become more ideal. And we will talk about what ideal solutions mean in like the next to next video. Uh, but that's about it. Basically, what we're trying to say is that Raoult's law is a special case of Henry's law because one uh, the 
proportionality constant which is used uh, if you remove that then essentially the pressure is directly proportional to the mole fraction only difference is here we are considering gases and here we are considering volatile liquid and the, sometimes you have if you have like a case where you have a gas and a liquid and liquid is slightly volatile if the gas follows the henry's law then the liquid will follow raoult's law and with that we're done with raoult's law as a special case of henry's law in the next video we will be discussing um, the vapor pressure of solutions is solids in liquids.